Over the weekend, Palo Alto University professor Christine Blasey Ford revealed herself as the woman accusing Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh of an attempted rape 35 years ago. Naturally, conservative pundit Laura Ingraham dug into Blasey Ford's past to learn a bit more about the woman drawing on a repressed memory to accuse a well-respected judge of attempting to rape her decades ago. Ultimately, Ingraham found a very sick skeleton in the liberal professor's closet. In a last-ditch effort to stop President Donald Trump's Supreme Court pick from being confirmed, Sen. Diane Feinstein, D. California, released a surprising statement on Thursday accusing Brett Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct back in high school. The accusation, reportedly, is that Kavanaugh and another young man locked a woman in a room by herself during a party in high school. The woman was able to get out and was not harmed. I have received information from an individual concerning the nomination of Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court, said Feinstein. That individual strongly requested confidentiality, declined to come forward or press the matter further, and I have honored that decision. I have, however, referred the matter to federal investigative authorities. Judge Kavanaugh issued a statement in response to the misconduct accusation on Friday morning saying, I categorically and unequivocally deny this allegation. I did not do this back in high school or at any time. Then, in a Sunday interview, Palo Alto University professor Christine Blasey Ford revealed that she is Brett Kavanaugh's high school ear accuser, claiming the judge pinned her down and groped her before she escaped some 35 years ago. According to Blasey Ford, Kavanaugh's friend Mark Judge was present at the time and witnessed the alleged assault. Speaking publicly for the first time, Ford said that one summer in the early 1980s, Kavanaugh and a friend, both stumbling drunk, Ford alleges, corralled her into a bedroom during a gathering of teenagers at a house in Montgomery County. While his friend watched, she said, Kavanaugh pinned her to a bed on her back and groped her over her clothes grinding his body against hers and clumsily attempting to pull off her one-piece bathing suit and the clothing she wore over it. When she tried to scream, she said, he put his hand over her mouth. I thought he might inadvertently kill me, said Ford, now a 51-year-old research psychologist in Northern California. He was trying to attack me and remove my clothing. Ford said she was able to escape when Kavanaugh's friend and classmate at Georgetown Preparatory School, Mark Judge, jumped on top of them, sending all three tumbling. She said she ran from the room, briefly locked herself in a bathroom and then fled the house. Source, The Washington Post. Mark Judge has strongly denied the accusation, saying, Now that the anonymous person has been identified and has spoken to the press, I repeat my earlier statement that I have no recollection of any of the events described in today's Post article or attributed to her letter. With Blasey Ford's identity revealed, we have been able to glean more information about her, none of which lends credibility to her story. For starters, the letter she penned to Feinstein wasn't her first. She also signed a letter for the American Civil Liberties Union ACLU, condemning President Donald Trump for strictly enforcing federal immigration laws. But that's not all. Blasey Ford's reviews on Rate My Professors Com paint a picture of a deranged woman who is the bane of any student unlucky enough to be sitting in her class. Overall, she scores 2.3 out of 5, which would be a failing grade if the roles were reversed. Now, thanks to Laura Ingraham, we know even more about Blasey Ford's past, and perhaps, have a motive for her absurd and unsubstantiated accusation that Judge Kavanaugh tried to rape her. Ingraham tweeted out a story on Monday revealing that Blasey Ford's parents were defendants in a case that was presided over by Brett Kavanaugh's mother, of whom he has spoken at length during confirmation hearings. Judge Martha G. Kavanaugh was the judge for a foreclosure case in 1996 in Maryland involving Ralph and Paula Blasey. Christine Ford's parents, and so the plot thickens. Accuser Christine Ford's parents were defendants in a 1996 foreclosure case, presided over by Kavanaugh's mother, Laura Ingraham, at Ingraham Angle, September 17, 2018. Could this, coupled with the fact that Christine Blasey Ford is an extreme leftist who loathes the Trump administration, be the motive behind her letter to Dianne Feinstein?